All right, hi everybody. This video is to help you with your week two assignment beat recognition um, for Thriller for uh, measures the beginning to measure 23. Um, so in your Google Classroom, I'm gonna use the brass and percussion because I have these assignments listed in there right now. Hopefully it only shows up one on yours because I took the percussion, I only assigned it to percussion, the tubas only to tuba. So if you don't have an assignment listed for you, I might have missed you in assigning the the instrument. So let me know uh, over email or in class on Thursday and I'll get that done. Um, this is, I'll get you assigned. This is due Friday at three o'clock and it should be a fairly easy assignment, but if you're having trouble with it, you can set up time with me. We can just uh, Zoom and go over this in person, one-on-one -on -one or in a group if we need to, and I'm totally fine with that. So this is um, a beat recognition. So if you go in here, you're also gonna see this video at some point as a tool inside this assignment, but you'll wanna click on the Google Jamboard is what we're gonna try to use. And you'd click on that. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna, um, I don't want to open somebody's assignment. So, but you'd click on your assignment, you'll get a screen something like this. I'm going to do the flute part because it's just demonstrating rhythm. Um, what you don't want to do is accidentally delete the actual photo in there. And if that happens, you just go up to the undo button and you can get that back. Okay. Um, what you'll want to do is use the marker tool select a color so it'll it'll default to this pen but you want to use a marker and i'm going to use this blue color the only color you can't use is white obviously we won't be able to see that but so we're going to use this blue color and all we need to do is mark where the downbeats are in each measure so if you were doing um if you were tapping your toe you'd tap one two three four and so we're just basically showing where our foot would be tapping on the beats. So four beats in each measure. And we're just lining up or showing these are where the actual beats are. And this is where we're going to line up our music to the beat. So I'd start by going, this is one. And then beats two, three, and four are inside of that because a dotted whole note gets three beats. And then this would be one, two. And then a whole, uh, half note gets two beats, three, four. So three three and four would need to be in there. And then we have, um, you can skip anything that has a multi-measure rest, but if you get to the next measure, you can't skip these rests. So I still wanna know there's a half rest that gets two beats. Then beat three, that's an and beat, so we're not gonna do that because that would be an upbeat, and that would be beat four, and these notes happen before we get to beat one, two, and then three, and then four, all right? So we're trying to line up. You're gonna have to do a little math. Um, you have your whole, no your whole note equals four. Um, your dotted, whoop, dotted equals three. Half note, two. Quarter note, one. Eighth note, one half. And we have a couple, we have some 16th notes. So we're just actually, um, let me delete that. And you have 16th notes. Um, they'll also, the ones on the screen right here look like the double bar. But these are equal. Uh, that's a half a beat. Sorry, I should put half a beat. And this would basically be, um, you'd think one quarter of a beat, okay? How would we know right here, you've got uh, four and a, just think about doing, if I write four 16th notes, that equals one beat, takes four quarters to make one beat, so they're worth a quarter of a beat. This is one E and a. So it just depends on where we are in there. If there's half of the beat taken up, then it's and a, like right here. This is a half a beat, so we take the remainder and this is and a. 
um, right here. This is one, two, and this is beat three. And so we have three E. So this, in this case, it would be the beat and then E. So three E and then that half note, or sorry, the eighth note takes up these two sixteenth notes. So it'd be three E and, okay. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions but you don't need to save this at all in any way once you're finished with it. Um, just attach the, or turn in the assignment on Google Classroom and it will automatically, I'll be able to check each Jamboard and be able to um, even help you when we, if you need help, I can log into your Jamboard and we can just show and do it right on the screen. So uh, let me know if you have any questions.